I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with some products that I purchased off of the Ulta website. I saw that Physicians Formula came out with some new SPF products and I've kind of been a fan of their SPF powders for a few, quite a few years. Um, so I saw this Natural Defense Finishing Powder and it's got an SPF of 20, broad spectrum SPF. And it's interesting to me because this has got both chemical and physical sunscreens in it and they're calling this a finishing powder so I used it as a finishing powder today. I want to say there are four shades of this available and I'm tempted to get one of the deeper shades to try out as a bronzer but the shade that I got is fair. So again there's SPF 20 in here 360 degree total defense complex is what it says. R, wow, RPF blue light and PPF pollution. Protection. I'm liking that. So that is what the box packaging looks like. There's 0.35 ounces of product in here and this is their standard kind of compact that they've had for years where you can lift it up and there's a brush underneath the bottom. This is a really soft little synthetic. I never use these brushes. Um, but the powder I used today as an all-over finishing powder because they're calling it a finishing powder. So I actually used it in place of the Guerlain Meteorites, which I've been using for years. And I found that it added just a little bit of, just a little bit of extra coverage. I didn't go overboard using it. I tried to use it just the way that I use the Guerlain Meteorites. Um, I found in the past when I've tried to set like a foundation or a BB cream with a powder like this, it just ends up being too heavy on the skin. So I kind of like the idea that they're marketing this more as a finishing powder. And I do think it looks pretty on the skin. It doesn't have kind of that little glow that the Guerlain Meteorites gives, but I will be using this consistently throughout the summertime because I love to build, especially my physical SPFs on my skin to protect it from the sun because I'm outside side a massive amount. But let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys. Uh, this is the shade Fair. It's very smooth, very creamy feeling powder. So I know that trying to set this over like a liquid uh, BB cream or foundation, it would just get too heavy. But it's got, a, I think it's got a really pretty finish. So that's the Physicians Formula Natural Defense Setting the Tone Finishing Powder Sunscreen. And I've got that on my face today as a finishing powder. <laughs> From that same line of products, I also purchased the concealer in the shade Fair. And I've toyed around with the SPF concealers from Physicians Formula for years, same with the powders. And I've always really liked them. And they discontinued the one that came in like a little jar. And that had SPF... I want to say 30 as well, but I used to love that for an eyeshadow primer and underneath the eyes throughout the summertime. And I can't find that anywhere, so I'm pretty sure they discontinued it and are now coming out with this one. So I got the shade Fair. So the packaging on this guy says the same thing. 360 Total Defense Complex SPF 30 UVA UVB RF. RPF blue light PPF pollution and this has also got octanoxate titanium dioxide and zinc oxide in it The powder has got one other sunscreen. The powder has also got oxybenzone in it Oh the other thing to mention too This has got a fragrance to it and it's it's a pretty strong fragrance So if you're not a fan of that that is something to make note of because it's kind of in the middle of the ingredient deck on the back Which I, I was kind of surprised when I put my brush in it and started buffing it around I was like this is really fragranted <laughs> the concealer comes with a total of 0.26 fluid ounces of product which is quite a bit and then the cap on this it doesn't twist off you just pull it off and there's a little twisty here that you can turn the knob to on or off so I'll turn it like on and then you squeeze it and a little bit of product will come out the sponge right there so this is the one in fair and it's got a little bit more of a yellowy warm undertone than something that I typically go for but because of the nice SPF factor I will use it I'm going to try this as an eyeshadow primer too which I haven't done just yet but I've got it underneath my eyes it was a little bit of work to blend it out but I still think that it looks pretty and it's got a decent amount of coverage to it um, but it definitely leans more on the light buildable side of coverage but again, these type of products, I like the claims that go with them to kind of help with protecting your skin. So I always like to give them a try. And then too, I go to products like this throughout the summer months when I'm outside a whole bunch. But that is the Physicians Formula Natural Defense Total Coverage Concealer Sunscreen. <laughs> um, and that's the one in fair right there. Another Physicians Formula product that I saw online at Ulta is the Organic Wear Precision Liquid Eyeliner with Chamomile Oil. And this here has got a fine brush tip applicator. I read that online and got super excited. I only got the black one, but I'm going to be ordering 
another one of the black one, and I'm also gonna get the brown shade because there's two colors available. Um, this here on the back says a highly pigmented smudge resistant liquid eyeliner with a fine brush tip applicator that creates a flawless, smooth, and easy application in one simple stroke that lasts all day. The key ingredients are organic chamomile oil, organic aloe vera, organic jojoba oil, and botanical cactus flower. And I just like the idea of this as well, having some kind of nourishing ingredients in it. I really love the Essence Liner. I've been using that for years, but it does kind of, it doesn't look as smooth as this one does. I just feel like the, the line itself is a little bit more matte, but not too matte where it looks dry. And it just looks a little bit smoother. So this is the eyeliner that I have on today and I've, I've really been enjoying it. So I am gonna order the brown one and I'm gonna get another one of the black one. A nice amount of product comes out on the brush. If you like really, really fine, I'm not sure that you would think that this brush tip is fine enough. Um, but for me, it works out really good. And it's really, really black. It's got a nice finish. And I do feel like it looks, again, smoother on the skin. So I'm really living for this product. So this is the Black Noir one right there from Physician's Formula. And I just love those, those ingredients that are in there as well. Look at all. It's just super, super black. I hadn't seen my right shade for the new e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in store, so I ended up ordering this off of the Ulta website as well, and I got the shade Fair Rose. Again, it's the Hydrating Camo Concealer. It's got the oversized doe foot applicator. This is the packaging on this guy. Um, I like this one better than the Full Coverage Camo, I think it's called. I would say that this has a medium buildable type of a coverage. It's definitely more of a heavier coverage than what I've been using more recently, but I like it. The formulation of this I like better than the other one because it doesn't feel so heavy underneath the eyes. It's super easy to blend out, and again, the coverage is really nice. It's really nice. So this is Fair Rose, and the color here, um, it's a it's a dash light, but I can make it work uh, with my sponge when I mix it in with a little bit of my face product. Look at that little bit, how far that travels. And it feels really nice. Like, I like this one a lot better. So that's the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in Fair Rose. And this is what the packaging and the big doe foot look like on there. I also got another shade of the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue Moisturizing Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 45. This is 3C2 Pebble. So it's a shade deeper with the pink undertones in it compared to the other shade that I got, which is called whoops, uh, 2C3 Fresco. And I actually gave this tube to my mom to try because I was telling her how much I was enjoying it and she ended up ordering it too. I love the high SPF factor. Um, I have a little bit more opinion on it for kind of the colder months. It's actually pretty nice out today, but it's been really dry. Um, this isn't quite as hydrating as the Dr. Jart BB Cream, but I love the finish and it's a little bit thinner in texture while still covering compared to the Dr. Jart BB Cream. And I feel like it does hold up on the skin longer than the Dr. Jar. I think Dr. Jar wears pretty well um, in addition to, but this is even a longer lasting product I feel. So throughout the summer, this I just know this is going to be my go-to and all I use is one pump of this product to do my whole face. And so I have got on the 3C2 Pebble shade on my face today. Again, just one pump covered my whole face. So I'm going to compare the two, the, the two shades so you guys can see the difference. I was really surprised with the pebble shade because I thought it was going to be much deeper, but I almost feel like the pebble shade matches my skin even better than Fresco, but Fresco blends in really well too. So both of these shades I can really make work. I think it kind of depends on the setting powder too because I have the Chanel setting powder in the lighter shade. So that may have lightened up the pebble just a bit. If I use a different setting powder, it might be a different story, but I'm going on and on here. Let me swatch these for you guys. So let me put a little bit of Fresco. So there's Fresco and there's Pebble right there. And I tried to do just a tiny dot and it just... But as you can see, they just are such a pretty product. They're so thin too. I have no reactions on my skin. Great SPF. They have a nice like glow to them. Really, really like those. And so those are from Estee Lauder and it's the Futurist Hydro Rescue Moisturizing Makeup 
broad spectrum SPF 45 um, and I got those off of Ulta as well and I was just looking at them on the website earlier and like so many shades are sold out so I think it's a pretty popular product. And then I couldn't find any more of the Elme Healthy Hue blushes in like Walmart or anything. So I ordered this off of Ulta as well. This is the shade 300 Pink Flush. I hauled the shade So Peachy um, I think last week or the week before, but I'll compare the two shades so you can see if you want to kind of order them online too. But these are baked jelly blushes from the drugstore and I'm just living for it. So this one right here again is the Pink Flush shade. And these are just so pigmented and they look super pretty on the cheeks. I've been wearing So Peachy a ton. This one's just a little bit more pink than the So Peachy shade, which I'll show you as well. I'm so excited about like the Revlon has got these skin lights that are in stores too that are baked gelée. I'm like bring all the baked gelée to the drugstore. Living my best life. <laughs> so there's So Peachy right there and then the other one I can't remember. Okay Pink Flush. Pink Flush and So Peachy. And those are the Elme Healthy Hue blushes right there. Very, very nice products. I also went ahead and got another shade of the CoverGirl in Olay Simply Ageless Foundation. This has got titanium dioxide sunscreen, hyaluronic complex, and vitamin C. So the SPF in here is 28. I had hauled the shade 205 Ivory last week, I think. But this here, even though I've got those other concealers and they're nice, um, the e.l.f. is a little bit heavier than something that I need right now. And then the um, Physicians Formula one that I used today, I think the color is just a little bit too yellow. But I love that ha that, that has the SPF and skin protecting factors in it. Um, so I'll probably use that one in the summertime. I'll probably be a little bit darker too. Um, but otherwise, these have been my go-to. They're, they're light buildable. So if you're looking for really full, you probably won't like it. But these, they blend out beautiful. They give a nice finish. They don't crease on me. They have those nice ingredients in them and they have SPF for like protecting my skin underneath the eyes. So I've really been just living for these two products. So I got the other shade which is 200 Fair Ivory um, and it's got a little bit more of a pink tone to it than 205 Ivory. So this one is 200 Fair Ivory and then this one is just Ivory. Let me swatch them for you guys here. So there's Fair Ivory and Ivory right there. And again, just been loving these nonstop for underneath the eyes. I had to put them down and try out the Physicians Formula Concealer today because I just keep going for these. So you can definitely see there's a little bit more pink in that one and it's a hair lighter. But I just love these. I love these for concealer underneath the eyes. And then I also purchased the Dominique Cosmetics Latte 2 Eyeshadow Palette. I purchased it off of her website when it became available. So this is what the box packaging looks like right there. There are 10 shadows that are 1.8 grams per shade, which is a pretty decent amount of shadow that you're getting. And then the actual packaging is a cardboard with a magnetic closure. And that is what the back looks like. And then inside, the names are printed on here, which I really appreciate as well. There are six matte shades, three shimmers, and then you've got this shade up here, Cafecito, which is one of those matte base shades with kind of sparkle infused in it. Um, I get along with Dominique Cosmetic eyeshadows really, really well. I get along with this palette really well. Um, some of these shimmer shades, you will find they are pressed a little bit more stiff in the pan, so I kind of like jab my brush in them to get the product to pick up, but they go on the eyes super beautiful. The shade Frappe does have micro glitter in it, it is one of my favorite shades in the palette. Um, if I could change one thing about this palette, it would be to substitute one of these browns out because I feel like it needs a mid-tone matte shade in there. When I used this, I did blend out with Blonde Rose and it worked out well, but I had to work at it a little bit more because the contrast between the two shades is just quite a bit. Um, so if I could change one, one thing, that would be it. Otherwise, I really love uh, Dominique Cosmetics shadows. I'm gonna go ahead and show it next to the first Latte 2 side by side for comparison. But otherwise, let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys. They blend really well. They're super pigmented. Like I said, those shimmer shades are pressed a little bit more than what, what some may be used to, but I get them to work just fine. You see that pigmentation though, right? I had to look for a minute if I picked up that shade. The uh, shade Cafe Con Leche right there, it blends into my skin like almost kind of perfectly. <laughs> well, you can see it just, uh, just a hair there, but. And then these next shades.
and then these last two which are both mattes so those are the three shimmer shades right there So those are the swatches for the Latte 2. Now let me grab the original Latte. So there's the original Latte on top and the Latte 2 on the bottom. You can see there are some similar shades between the two, but they're not exact. And the original Latte palette I believe was in my 2018 favorites video. I used that palette a ton. Next up, I also placed an order off of Sephora. I saw that Dior re-released the Rosy Glow blush in their Dior Backstage collection. Rosy Glow was like a staple, really talked about blush some years back. Um, and they came out with it again, but they also came out with another shade in Coral. So I went ahead and picked up the new Rosy Glow in Pink and the new Rosy Glow in Coral. This is what the packaging looks like. I really like the packaging on these blushes. They're really sleek and compact and they have a pretty decent amount of product in there. There's 0.16 ounces in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and compare it to the original Rosy Glow 2, the one in the pink. So here is the first one in 001 pink right here. This is glazed over with a pink like um, coloring to it. So that's not the color that you're seeing through the lid. There's a little mirror in there. And then here is your blush. This is the blush that I have on my cheeks today. I love the original Rosy Glow and I love this one as well. It's just a really beautiful pinky glow to the skin. Like I feel like the name suits it perfectly, like Rosy Glow. <laughs> so let's give you some swatches here. Let me build up a little bit more here. I don't feel like this swatches as pretty as it looks on the cheeks, but there it is right there. And again, that is the blush that I have on my cheeks today, and I think it's beautiful. Um, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty light, though. And then the other one is the shade in 004 Coral. So that leads me to wonder if we got 001 Pink and 004 Coral, where's 002 and 3? Where are those... Where are they at? <laughs> I'd probably buy those ones too if they existed. But So this is the coral one. And this goes on the cheeks, in my opinion, not so pastel-y orange as it looks in the pan here. It goes on more orange, which is pretty for like a summertime look. But this is also pretty light. And each time that I've used them, I really like both the blushes on my skin tone. Um, but I did build them up to get them to pop a little bit more but they do have this really nice glow to the cheeks, which is something that I really like. And sometimes it's easier to use a blush that you have to build up as opposed to one that's like overly pigmented and you have to blend out, but I just build it up a little bit here. So there's the coral and there's the pink. And maybe there is a two and three out there that are a little bit deeper. Just saying, there should be. <laughs> so I really like them though. I really like the new uh, packaging on them as well. So let me grab the original. So here is old school original and they called this petal or petal. And I use this a boatload. This is actually darker, a darker pink than the newer one. So you can see right there. I also purchased another one of the Givenchy Cole Couture Waterproof Eyeliners in Jade. This is 90% of the time what I have on my waterline is that green eyeliner. It's just one of my faves and I ran out of one that I have in here so I bought that one to replace it. These next three products are from a brand called ZC. Z-E-E-S-E-A. It's this brand right here. And I kept seeing these ads pop up on Instagram and pop up on Instagram and the packaging looked cute and the highlighters looked cute. And I was just like skeptical about it. And then I went to the website and they had like some type of sale. They're not super, super expensive and they run sales quite often. So I went ahead and ordered three of these highlighters. Um, a lot of the language on the packaging is, uh, I don't know, I don't know if it's Korean or what exactly, but Again, this is the brand right there. Uh, these are the highlighters that I have on my cheeks. I don't know what else to say about them because I really don't know anything about them other than the packaging is really cute and the highlighters are really pretty. <laughs> so this first one is the ZC and the British Museum collaboration and it's got 01 hashtag or like the number on the back here and it says highlight pressed powder. 
and there's six grams of product in here. I've got this one mixed with a champagne one that I'm going to show you in a minute. There was a little, uh, I think they're called cherub uh, embossed in there, but I've kind of ruined it. This is just kind of a white sparkly highlighter. I've got this mixed in with another one on my cheeks today. And they're both, very, all three of these are really pretty. This one is a traditional powder formula. The other two, there's like a spongy factor to them. They're still calling them powders, but there is like a creaminess to them. And then here's the cover on that. Just really cute little compact um, packaging there. And then this next one, it's got Devil's Love on the cover. And this is like an iridescent purple. And this one is H08 Highlight Pressed Powder. This is the pinkier tone. So this has got like a sponginess to it, almost kind of like a ColourPop um, type of feel to it. The Their uh, Super Shock formula, that's kind of what it feels like. And it's got a lot of sparkle and shine to it. This one's more pink. The other one I'm gonna show you, again, same formula as this one, but it's more champagne. And this one says Angel's Love on it, right there. And that is what this one looks like. I can get this to pick up on a brush. So I went back and forth between this one and the uh, little cher cherub one, the 01 in British Museum. And that is the highlight that I have on my cheeks today. And I just think it's it's really pretty. But I just, I couldn't help myself. I just kept seeing those ads on Instagram. And so that's what I did. I tried it out. <laughs> so that's the ZC highlighters. Again, this is how it's spelled right there. I also fell completely weak with the new Chantecaille Spring Collection. I was seeing pictures of these and then they released on the Chantecaille website. And if you spent X amount of dollars, you got a free nail polish. And I just, I could not resist these. <laughs> so I got both of the eyeshadow quads and also the face powder from their spring collection. And so like a portion of the proceeds of this would go to help saving hummingbirds, which is uh, what I really also enjoy about Chantecaille's kind of uh, animal collaboration products. They always give a portion of the proceeds to help out whatever kind of uh, critter they have on the packaging. And then I also got one of the lip cheeks too, and I got the shade Honeysuckle. I just couldn't tell online like what color to get. This looks deeper in the tube than what it looked like online, but it's a more sheer kind of balmy lipstick. I think I'm gonna end up ordering two more of these here because I really like the formula. And I've seen them on, I think both Neiman's and Saks and maybe Nordstrom's as well. But this one here has got the green packaging the other lipsticks, they all come in different colored packaging. There's blue, pink, and I think orange. But this is Honeysuckle, so there's a the little hummingbird right there. And here is the shade. And it's just a really easy to wear kind of rose shade, but you can see it's a little more sheer. And these lipsticks right here, the Lip Chic Formula, they feel so nice and so nourishing on the lips. Like I really like the formula, and that's a e super easy to wear color. So I'm either gonna get two or I'm either gonna get all three <laughs> of the other shades of this because I really I really like the formulation of this. And they have a slight, just a really slight vanilla scent to them, not like uh, overdone or anything like that. But that is the Honeysuckle uh, lipstick right there from Chantecaille. Here's the box packaging on that. Now getting into the compacts, this first one is the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. 0.28 ounces of product or eight grams. And just you guys, <laughs> look at this packaging. I just can't even deal with how pretty this is. Like, it's just stunning. I just, I just love this. And I knew like a finishing powder wasn't something that I really, I wasn't super excited about the product inside, but I knew I would use it as a finishing powder but I really wanted to have this packaging and all the hummingbirds are different on all three. <laughs> so I bought it and this has got a really pretty embossing in there as well. This is a baked jelly finishing powder. Um, I found you wanna use a little bit more of a stiff brush to pick this product up because these baked jelly products are just kind of made to be a little bit more firm. This has got a peach tint to it. So I can use it lightly all, all over the skin as a finishing powder and a little bit heavier. It gives me kind of an overall peachy glow to the skin, which I think is really pretty. Let me swatch this for you guys. Um, that is it right there. It is kind of a matte finish with a very, very slight glow to it. And the coloring has got a, a peach hue to it. So I don't know how well that's gonna show up right there, but. 
And I have used it as a finishing powder all over the skin and it does look pretty, but it gives my skin a little bit of a peachy hue to it because it's a peach powder. <laughs> but anyway, that there is the uh, Perfect Blur Finishing Powder right there. And that's got the orange hummingbird packaging on it. Next up are the two eye quads. This first one is the Hummingbird Eye Quartet in Warm. This is the one that has got the green hummingbird packaging on it. There's not a ton of product in here. There's a total of two grams or 0 0.07 ounces of product, which is less than 0 0.02 ounces per shade. So they're, they're, there's not a ton of product in here. But this formulation of Chantecaille Shadows, I feel like is a new formulation. They're pigmented, they're really soft and creamy feeling. So there's three shimmers, which are these guys right here, and then one matte, which is this brown. The little pans are so small. I was like, there's so much space inside. They could have made them so much bigger, <laughs> the shadows. But look at how pretty these are. I just think the iridescence from those shimmery shades are just stunning. It's a, like a duochrome peachy pink with like a, I don't know, there's something that shifts green in that one, but. There are the first four shades in the warm palette. This has got a blue hue to it. And again, oh, this packaging. And then the next one is the Hummingbird Eye Quartet in Cool. There are no matte shades in this one. They all have a shimmer or a sheen to them. This one is kind of a satin finish and then these ones are more like shimmers. Yeah, these, these shadows feel, feel much creamier than some Chantecaille shadows that I have ha had in the past, but shadows are just coming a long way nowadays, you know? Nice, right? So there's the cool one and there is the warm one right there. And those are from Chantecaille. And I'm like so over the moon to have these. And then lastly here, I have a few items that were sent over in PR. Refer sent over another one of their brushes. This is the brand right here. You guys may have seen me mention them in my 2019 favorites video. Um, I have several brushes that I have in current rotation of theirs that I just absolutely love. They make very nice natural bristle brushes. So they sent over this number 22 brush right here. I got it this way. This reminds me of a discontinued Tom Ford brush. So I brought out the Tom Ford bronzer brush that I have, and this is probably the best dupe for the old Tom Ford bronzer brush that I've found. Tom Ford still has the bronzer brush, but he went to a synthetic material. So here is his original brush, which I've got two of these. I love them so much, and these are very expensive brushes. Um, again, this is the closest thing to a dupe that I've found to this brush, and it's the closest thing that I have in my whole collection that's similar to this brush and a lot of people love the 05 bronzer brush from Tom Ford but look at how similar these are so here's Tom Ford and here's the rougher 22 like very very similar if anything I would say that the rougher has got a little bit more of a taper to it than the Tom Ford one but just very, very similar brushes. And I have loved the, again, the Tom Ford bronzer brush forever. I've got two of them and they're expensive brushes. So I was super excited to see this and, and I wanted to pass that information on to you because I know I've seen comments where people were really wanting this brush and that you can't get it anymore because he doesn't make the natural bristle brushes anymore. So maybe try out the Refer 22. It is a beautiful brush. I used it today as bronzer. It does come to a decent amount of point where if you, you know, use it just the tips like that, you can get more precise or you can push a little bit more and it'll kind of blend out the product over a larger area. Really like that. Thank you, Refer, for sending this over. And then lastly here, ColourPop sent me over their Valentine's Day collection. And it was so funny because I wasn't home that day and I was online when it launched and I was adding those products to my cart. <laughs> and then I was like, wait, I better wait till I get home and get the mail. And sure enough, this was in the mail. Because when I do do that, because I... I've done that a couple times now. Then my mom gets to have one of the palettes because I'll, I'll have doubles of them. <laughs> but anyway, these ones were sent to me from ColourPop. This is the All That Pressed Powder Palette. And this is the eyeshadow palette that I have on my eyes today. Um, I think that the Valentine's Day kind of theme fits perfectly. I feel like 
I feel like I look Valentine's-y and it looks really pretty with this kind of pink lipstick that I have on. I get along with ColourPop shadows really well. I think that they're some of the best shadows on the market that you can buy for the money. Um, they're also just really good shadows in general, minus the fact that they're really affordable. Um, and I love the fact that all of their shadows are removable from the palettes as well. They're magnetized inside so you can move them into a different palette and whatnot. It just says total net weight 14.2 grams or 0.5 ounces which usually these ones are either 0 0.03 or 0 0.04 ounces per shade so here is the packaging there's no mirror in this one this does have one press glitter which is this shade right here i originally thought there was two but this one here is more like a really metallic shadow and then there's also a decent array of matte shades both light medium and dark i feel in here and i wore this today i did have a little bit more than normal fallout with that deeper shade on my cheek but otherwise everything blended out really well, very pigmented, um, really nice shadows from ColourPop. Did I tell you what the name of this palette is? It's called All That. Yeah, All That Pressed Powder Palette right there. And these next four. I'm always never that crazy about the pressed glitter shades that are inside of here, but it is in there nonetheless. I do recommend if you put it on the eyes to use a real tacky like glitter glue. And then this last row. I really love this shade right here. It's stunning. So there are the swatches of the All That eyeshadow palette or pressed powder palette. And again, this is the palette that I have on my eyes. I did tap a little bit of a glitter pot, which I'll show you here in a minute as well. So in the collection, there was this trio of glitter, glitterally obsessed mini trio, body glitters it says on here. I used one on the eyes against my better judgment. <laughs> but I will say that I don't have any glitter under on my cheeks or anything and I've had this eyeshadow on for roughly what time is it right now i've had this on for like six hours so that, that's good i don't have any glitter fallout even though i tapped it over the eyeshadow but these are glitters that are in a cream base they really remind me of the lemonhead la um glitter creams but the one that i tapped on my eyes today is i i l y s m which i think means i love you so much so it's the wider one. And that's the little bit of extra sparkle that you see. I just lightly tapped it over the shadow. So these again are in a cream base. There are some larger particles of glitter on here. So it may be best to stick with using them as body glitters <laughs> instead of on the eyes. But this next one is Love Language. And these all came in a little uh, cute little trio. And then this one is called That's Hot right there. So those are the three glitter creams. And there's some pretty decent sized glitters in there. It also had this cute little Tender Love and Care mini Just a Tint set. And I actually just purchased my first Just a Tint lip product last week. I hauled it. Um, and it's really nice, comfortable, almost lip balm type product. I wore one of these yesterday with just a lip liner. And they're, they're definitely a balmier type product. This is what the packaging on this looks like. And each one has got, how much product are we looking at? I think 0 0.04 ounces of product in each one. So these are mini sizes. And the one that I wore yesterday was this guy, which is kind of a nude. These again come in a set. So this one right here, you can see they're, they're like, you know, tinted lip balms. This one is called Gimme S'more. And then you've got more of a pinky toned one called The Strand. And these smell like, um, like grapefruit. And then I was trying to think of what these remind me of, and it's the YSL Rouge Volupte. What these Just a Tints smell like, and I feel like they also look like that on the lips. Um, I think that there's a little bit more pigmentation in the YSL compared to the Just a Tints, but they're very similar products. They feel the same on the lips, and they also have the same type of smell. Like that day, I was trying to think, what do these remind me of? That's what they remind me of, the YSL 
Rouge Voluptes. So anyway, the third one in the set is Cutie Fruity, which is the darkest one. So those are the three shades that come in the Just a Tint set. And then this is the other product I almost ordered that day as well. It's the Soul Face and Body Highlighter. Um, this is in a much smaller compact than their other body highlighters, and it's called a face and body highlighter. I used it yesterday as a face highlighter, and it looked super pretty. I put it on with a brush as well. You just kind of have to be sure to really buff it into the skin, otherwise it can look a little bit heavy. Um, and this does have a pretty strong kind of coconut tropical type of scent to it as well. Um, I was a little nervous. I was going to wear it today, but it does have um, coconut oil in it, and coconut oil breaks me out. Um, so I was like, if I just use it not every other day, maybe I'll be okay. I haven't had any reactions. I haven't had any breakouts on the top of my cheeks or the places that I did use it yesterday, but it does have coconut oil in there. Um, but it's so pretty. It looks so pretty on the cheeks yesterday, so... I was so tempted to use it today, but I'm scared that if I continuously use it, I'm going to break out. Anyway, this is the soft pink right here. It's definitely got a tropic, pretty heavily fragranced product, but it's really pretty. And this, it's called a pressed powder, or a shimmering body powder, but there is a slight creaminess factor to this. There's, there's a bit of a creaminess to it, <laughs> but look at how pretty that is. And so when I used it, I used it on a brush and I just really buffed it into the skin and it just had a really pretty glow to it. See? I wish there wasn't coconut oil in here. Because I think it's super stunning on the cheeks. So that is the Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder in Soft Pink. And a big thank you to ColourPop for sending those over. Uh, otherwise, that is everything that I have for today's haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.